All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So we are taking a look at, you know, I'm not sure how hot these ones are as of the last two weeks, all right? Or we can, we can change, we'll call it. But we'll take a look at TTOO, NVOS, and Mullen as well, all right? So um, look, it, it, I, I've been talking about the 100 moving average for a minute now. I, I was saying 21, 22 cents for a bit. I'm actually a little surprised that we're at 20. I'll be real honest with you. I thought that the 100 moving average was gonna do a little bit more, all right? On, on most of those videos, you didn't really hear me talk a lot about losing the 100. I was just kind of saying, hey, it made a lot of sense to me to come down to it, all right? So this is a single day under it. You know I need confirmation both up and down, all right? Um, in some ways, it's also a little bit of a doji, right? So we'll we'll talk about the candle itself and, and what it means. But look, at the very moment, we are under all five moving averages. And you know that's a scary place for me, okay? Um, NVOS, you know, I think NVOS is obviously not doing well, just like TTOO. But I think the big, big difference is volume. All right, I'm just going to quickly flash it. I'll come back here, all right? NVOS is sitting at 13 million shares. Again, 13 million is a lot, all right? But TTOO is at least able to like, what, 3X that, almost 4X it, right? Like there, there's at least more volume here. The problem is we're losing moving averages instead of breaking them, right? So that that's at least my one comparison to these like Apple and Orange tickers, right? It's just, hey, and TTOO is at least holding more volume, but yeah, both aren't doing swimmingly, all right? And then Mullen. Mullen, I had way more expectations, but the good thing is these, these unbiased indicators that I try to use to make myself an unbiased trader help kind of at least put expectations aside and, and make right trades, all right? So we'll go over all that and more, but before we go any further, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. We have our five moving averages. There are horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicator. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. I'm telling you, anything you can do really helps me so much with these YouTube algorithms. But for real, just being here, giving me your time, giving me the opportunity to talk and chat and comment with everyone. I mean, I'm, I'm so grateful for all of that. All right. So, and again, there are links to the Discord groups in the YouTube comments. Check them out if you haven't already. But look, TTOO. The simplest thing I'm going to say is, hey, I got faked out right here. All right. You know, I am never, ever, ever here to pretend I'm like the best trader out there. Like I'm some all knowing stock guru or any of those like silly terms. All right. Like I got fooled when the FDA gave the thumbs up. All right. I, I did not expect just a single candle and then a crazy ride down, all right? That said, the day after, I was wildly, wildly loud about selling at 37, okay? You know, if you watch my videos, if you're new, this is something you're like, I don't tell you when to buy. I don't tell you when to sell. I barely, barely, barely let you know where my money's at. Because again, I'm not per like I am I'm confident enough to make YouTube videos, right? Like I am I am more than more than happy to be honest when I'm wrong, right? Um that said, I'm not perfect. I'm a little bit of a gambleholic, like whatever the words are, right? So um, you know, I I hit eject at 37 and I mean, I avoided a nearly 50% drop. I'm rounding, right? But basically from 40 cents down to 20 is, is essentially what we saw in only a matter of weeks, right? And, and that's devastating, okay? Especially for a stock that I can tell a lot of people are probably riding a good amount of money on. All right, because again, listen, I, I, I hear all the news about what's in the pipeline for TTOO. Another, if I'm not mistaken, 
five, another five FDA pending approvals in the pipeline, all right? Obviously, people are expecting government contracts. They're expecting hospital contracts from this first FDA, you know, clearance, approval, whatever word you want to use, right? End of the day, the clock is rapidly ticking on this. And I don't talk too much about the reverse split, but the fact that we've lost all five moving averages makes me believe the fall down could be because again i said it this channel from from and, and again I'll, I'll let's even emphasize it from below this line i'm going to delete it but just as we look at this line right here all we get is fast down silliness fast up fast down fast up it could be a real real fast fall to 14 okay and and what's worse look i'm not comparing this to mullen all right i'm going to cover mullen at the end but mullen did two reverse splits at 10 cents all right we are much much closer to that 10 cents falling into single digit worry than we are to like getting over the dollar and not having to worry about reverse split. Look, I'm not here to pump fear. I'm not here to tell you what to do with your money. All I know is there are a couple things I always say, but break all five moving averages, get above them all and you fly. It's beautiful. Fall below and you die. And we're on the verge of dying, all right? And it wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago that we were right here where we were next to them all and then just never could and all we did was head down and die right the stock has done a reverse split before it actually was roughly a year ago from where we sit all right when was this actually this was on october 13th of last year they did a reverse split you know i i i, I that's not that long ago i'll tell you that much where was it when it happened it was well under all five moving averages and just dying under the eight, right? Reverse split doesn't change what the lines do. All it does is move some decimals over, right? Or like whatever the, the, the outcome number might be. But again, all I see is red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 red. All right, be careful. Maybe, oh dude, that's where we're at right now. We are at 50% candle of this thing, okay? So, Let's talk about the candle itself. This is going to be, I think, the last thing I cover on, on TTOO before I look at the weekly. So look, if there's one thing I always talk about, it, it's the doji, all right? Some people are going to say, hey, this is not a doji, all right? I am not a candle pattern trader, a candle shape trader. Like, I'm a technical indicator trader, right? That said, if anything is close enough to a doji, my ears perk up and I, I, I kind of brace myself for the next day, okay? Why? Okay, the doji basically says, some people thought we were going to come really close to the 100. Some people thought we were going to fall all the way down. End of the day, we basically open at 0 0.20 and we close at 0.20. We it, it, in the entire trading day, we, we, we pretty much are relatively flat. Unfortunately, this looks like a bigger thing because it dropped below, but I'm literally talking about open of the day to the close of the day, all right? Doji screams uncertainty, and generally speaking, the next day, the uncertainty is confirmed, all right? What worries me is tomorrow's confirmation might either be a hard drop down to like, Jesus. 16 is 16 the number dude 16 is kind of the number i think 16 cents tomorrow is the is the worst case i think the best case i don't think i don't think asking for for more than 20 i i, I think 23 is like the minimum um what is your 20 23 24 all right i think that's the number 23 cents but let's just let, let's keep it simple 23 cents. I'm asking for roughly a 15% a, a gain tomorrow, or honestly, we might drop 20%. We might lose 4 cents, and um, we might come down to 16 cents. I think 16 cents or 23 cents is, is my more than likely scenario for tomorrow. All right, we are under all five. We have a negative MACD that's diverging again. Diverging just means the lines are going away, and those are diverging. 
those are just unfortunately diverging the wrong way. I like it when they when the green is over and going away, right? So that's bad negative divergence. Those are just some fancy stock words, all right? RSI is super flat, and I mean, just look at it. The last, what, two, four, six days have basically been, you know, bad, right? And aside from this single FDA pop, all it's actually been behind it is bad as well. So I think more things are telling me this might even come down to 16 cents than it's telling me we'll try to recapture. But hey, hopefully, hopefully we can at least get back over here and then, you know, kind of take it from there. But yeah, this is a this is a scary, scary daily chart. All right. I've been I've been banging the drum of 21 and 22 cents for a, a minute now. I have, right? And hopefully like you know i don't tell you what to do with your money hopefully my opinions were able to help you guide some of your opinions hi kitty i don't know if you guys heard her meow meow um otherwise you know just just be careful okay i i, I understand the the good news that people are expecting with other fda approvals clearances i know we already got one again i'm here to accept the realities of today's truth and use it to guide me to tomorrow. I'm not here using hopes and hopium. You know, I love that word. I'm not here, you know, I'm not, right? So let's look at the weekly really quickly. And, and right now we're under the 20 on the weekly, all right? It's it's still a little early. We still got a couple days, but um, yeah, I mean, we obviously wanted to be over the eight, let alone, you know, um, yeah, there's, there's not a lot, there's not a lot more to add here. So yeah, let me know your thoughts and opinions. Let me know if you disagree, right? Otherwise, Hey, I appreciate you. You know that. All right. N V O S. Okay. N V O S is looking worrisome. All right. Cause look, we just drew that second trend line. All I'm really doing is extending it, right? I'm still keeping it off of that corner and roughly on that corner, right? Um, we literally open well under it and, and, and we lose our 23 support. Um, I, I, I think 19 cents makes the most sense. I've been talking about 17 cents on this, right? Obviously the 50 has gone above it. So I'm actually going to go ahead and delete the 17 cent resistance. I don't think we need it anymore. We now have basically this one at 19, this one at this one's actually at 17 right there. You know what I mean? So um, right now we're basically watching these three moving averages, okay? Um, the one thing I want to say, when when these three moving averages were right here, okay, when they were super, super, and it actually was a different three. I apologize. It was actually the 20, which is now up here, but you can see it was the 20, the 100, and the 50, right? The orange line, the red line, and the blue line. When these three were super tight, I had a very, very high confidence that we wouldn't lose this, all right? I had a relatively high confidence that we would break the 200, not lose this. Like, if you go back, you can see the videos. I, I, I you know, I don't have that same confidence as I did here because there's a little bit more spacing. Now, don't get me wrong. The 100 and the 200, right? These two lines, they're, they're relatively close to each other. And there is a part of me that believes it's going to be really, really hard to lose 15. Hopefully a little difficult to lose 17, okay? That said, coming from 22 all the way down to 17, you're losing 2, 4, Five. That's 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 roughly 25% if I did the math right in my head, okay? Because I'll be honest, I don't think this 19 cents is going to hold. I don't, all right? So I think we're going to come to this. I think we're going to lose it, and I think we're probably going to come here if I had to, to put a guess to this, okay? I don't like this eight moving average moving down very, very steeply. We are now basically going to death cross, which when a small one goes under a big one. We like the golden cross when it goes over it, right? But that's a death cross seemingly right there. Um, MACD is definitely diverging still and ready to go back under is what it looks like. Dude, this RSI went from a beautiful up and a nice hold to, yeah, it looks like it's, it's going to want to come down. And I, I, I talk about it. It wasn't that long ago. It wasn't that long ago. We were, we were struggling here. We were at low, low 18 RSIs here, here, you know, here right? Like it, 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 15 on this, it wasn't that long ago. Okay. So, um, N V O S this was a beautiful, beautiful play as good as it was like, 
it seems like we're building a trend line down now, right? It seems like I can basically do, I'm gonna do that actually. We're still relatively over it, you know? But yeah, from that corner to, oops, that corner to that corner. All right. Um, yeah, if we lose this trend line, yeah, uh, psh, there's there's a lot happening here. There is a lot happening here. I'm actually going to go ahead and delete this one. I think that steep uptrend is. And remember the one thing I started saying. I'm going to just, before I delete this line, it was a nice steep up. It started to give up a little bit. It now looks like we're actually kind of flattening out, which also starts making like, as, as the slope changes, like this is where we're using that math, right? Like this is why they taught us algebra back in like what, seventh grade, eighth grade. Slopes matter, you know what I mean? So um, yeah, this is I think what we're following right now on NVOS. Again, a lot is gonna matter on 17 cents and for sure on 15 cents if we have to start talking about it. Hopefully we don't. Again, unfortunately, I don't think 19 is gonna hold. Maybe it does. Maybe this thing's kind of saying, hey, 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 look, that 19 cents is actually basically where the trend line is. It's where the 50 is. Maybe there's a little bit more support here than I'm giving way to it. Again, I, I say it often, I might be wrong, right? Um, but yeah, I think these are my, these are these are some, some good opinions here. Interesting, okay, where are you before I say, okay, so 17 cents looks like the number. That is exactly where the 20 and the 50 average are if you're looking in the box over there on the side, okay? Um, we are at the eight moving average, which is at 22 cents. Um, again, lose that 22 and it might be a fast drop down. That, that's kind of essentially what I was saying, right? So um, I don't know if 19 is going to hold. I don't. And I think that's kind of being echoed right here. I don't think that there's too much between those, those three lines. Um, yeah, let's see what happens with the 50. But I think, I think we're... we're the worst thing over here is at least what I can say. Let me know if you disagree, please. All right. Let's take a look at Mullen. And again, man, Mullen, 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 Mullen is, is all, all, all about the 20 moving average and, and, and specifically the eight and the 20. All right. As I zoom out, and this is literally what I've been saying on the last few videos. All right. All we've been doing is trading under the eight and the 20. I was very, very, very much excited about this candle right here on, on Thursday the 14th, all right? I was excited then, I'm gonna repeat myself, because again, I'm not, I'm not taking away the facts that I said before. Like, this is still an impressive candle to me. Why is that? All right, I'm gonna zoom out and talk about other ones before I talk about this one. So the first, not the first one, because there was actually another one right here, but this, this one right here. The first hit on the 20 moving average is this kind of filled in green candle versus this outlined one, all right? We open, look at the box over there. We open at 255 and then we go all the way down and we close at 198. That is not good. That's a big significant drop, okay? On this one, this candle when we're on the orange line, same thing, look at the box. We open at 24.50, we drop down to 23 something, all right? This one, same thing, we open at 33, we close down here at 29 something, right? Like that was bad, that was bad, that was bad. This one opens down here at 52 closes up here at 57 like that's a good way to get over the 20. that was a nice confirmation candle after all right i talk about waiting for confirmation there should have been an upward moment up it just it you know like nothing's guaranteed nothing's perfect right like if it was believe me i'd be living next to lebron in, in the in the beverly hill mansions and all that right but hey knock on wood i'm comfortable right and a lot of that is you know the, the things i talk about okay one thing again i'm gonna say it this was decent confirmation all right we get over it on this day we get we gap above my 60 cent line we close up here like i am not pretending that my expectations were in a continue up they were all right however once we started to lose most of the candle once we started to lose half the candle we actually literally closed completely completely under it right um that's that's bad right and 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 that started to signal the next couple of things you know the 20 was was doing a decent job 
it was it was trying to hold this all right we go under we go back we're now again under the question just again it's still all about the eight and the 20. the one other thing i talked about is look it was great when we were trying to break it and go to the 50 all the way up here it now starts getting a little tighter a little tighter and like the the distance between here and there isn't as fantastic don't get me wrong break the eight at let, let's just call it 60 cents break 60 cents and come all the way up to 82 See, you're, you're adding 33 percent 20 20 20 right another 20 spot that's not bad i am not here saying ignore a 33 percent potential right but um I think that the minimum entry requirements for Mullen are just simply rising. And yeah, I think, I think we need to comfortably get over 60 cents to hopefully go to that roughly 80 cent number. Again, do I believe we're going to break this 50 average line that we actually haven't even touched, haven't even touched since back in Feb something? No, I don't, right? So just keep expectations realistic, but man, eight and the 20 are still the struggle with Mullen, which is horrible, 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 all right? Where's the weekly at? Weekly simply under the eight moving average, right? We were close, we, we opened above it, but yeah, no, 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 we came back under and we were staying under. It's sad, it really is, I'm telling you, right? But as much emotion as a lot of people have in these four letters of Mullen, um, the lines kind of help us stay neutral. So, hey, these are just my thoughts and opinions. Obviously, you can let me know yours, but um, more than anything, you know it. I appreciate you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you.